Hi, this is Thomas Farley, and I am in Goldfield, Nevada. Today in nearby Tonopah, I picked up a number of free wildlife posters at the local BLM field office. I have a number of thrift store mats and frames. It's the only thing I can afford, the only thing my customers can also afford. So I thought I'd... I had a frame that would work, but it turned out that the glass was exceptionally heavy and would make a really monumental work. It might look good, so instead I decided to go for something lighter, maybe a shadow box uh, or at least something raised surface. So here I am with a core board, uh, spray painting it black to make sure the shadow lines showed up well. And you can see just on um, core board, the poster by itself would look fine by itself. It's a lightweight work. Under heavy glass, it would just it would be monumental. It, the, the glass in that frame must have weighed three pounds. But I did have two mats, so double matting looked good, promising. But what to do with the frame? The, the frame was lightweight. I tried to paint it turquoise. It came out a total mess. And so... One thing leads to another, and what I eventually wound up doing, because I couldn't get the, the turquoise color correct, is I went for a distressed look and actually swung the board around backwards. This is with masking tape and everything a mess. So this is the back of the frame. So this is, I've never done this before. And it, it looks wild and crazy, but at least it's a very lightweight piece. I learned a lot and if you've ever been to a wildlife refuge, you've seen uh, outdoor signage. It's sometimes really quite nice, but it's always beat up and kind of hung together. And I, I wasn't aiming for that look. I wasn't thinking of it, but it's, yeah, it, it, I learned more. I mean, it's not really a, something I would sell, but it, it's, it was a, a good practice. And I learned everything. Uh, I learned a lot of things from just experimenting.